Well guys, welcome back to The Witcher 3. Today is actually a very special day, and that's because we are taking a boat to Skellige. Oh man, he's a big one. But yeah, we've never been there before. I'm not even sure if we've seen pictures of it, but we have heard that it's mountainous, it's got snow, which I'm excited to see. And all day, for at least I'd say the past three hours, all I've been doing is, you guys remember the question marks? They're just like little mini objectives where you can find rare monsters and rare loot and everything. I've just been going around looking for those things and even spending that much time, you can see I've only cleared at most like the top one fourth of the map and there are still at least a hundred of these bad boys left. So I'm definitely going to have to come back here sooner or later, but I found quite a bit of good loot for the time I did spend looking for those. I got some new armor, which is actually much better than the stuff we had and I learned that Last episode, the reason we were doing so crappy is because we were using Dandelion's stupid prop sword. So no wonder we couldn't kill those guards, but now we do have some good ones. So I think, I guess we'll just talk to the captain. This is probably him right up here. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? Actually trying to get the Skellige. I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. Okay, I guess I'll start there. Because we are actually pretty familiar with the Golden Sturgeon. We haven't... We've been there quite a few times recently, haven't we? Okay, here we are at the Golden Sturgeon. So hopefully he's in here. What did the guy say his name was? Flask? This must be him. Oh, Wolverstone. I guess that's kind of his nickname. You, Wolverstone? Captain of the Atropos? So you want to know? Atropos, Captain of the Wolverstone. No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Yeah, but I'm not even sure if this much will get us there in one piece. Man, that guy's messed up. Here. That enough? Hefty sack. Like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Oh, you bet. Let's go. Ah, uh, first, we must drink to the wind. Good fortune and to the strength of my Atropos. <sighs> Anchors away. Oh man, I guess the other captain wasn't lying about the waters to Skeleton not being safe. And these are pirates, aren't they? Oh, this is cool. I'm loving this already. Wait a minute. 
No way. You're telling me that they boarded us in that little dinghy? This is unbelievable. I guess our captain's still pretty drunk. So I can't blame him. He probably let him on because they said they had rum. I'm just eager to hurry up and kill these guys so we can actually get to Skellige. I want to see me some snow. Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dying. You know, a better question might be how the hell did our horse get here? We must have stored him below deck or something, but even then. Man, that thing is a legend. Let's see about this guy, though. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap, I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Horn Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Yeah, it does seem a bit like Yennefer. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yeah, that's definitely her. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Okay, good to know. Good to know. That's kind of cool he's got a pet wolf. It's pretty awesome. You know what? Let's check this place out first. Because this looks amazing. Look at that, and that mountain. That's mind-boggling to think that you can just, you can go all the way over there. No loading screens, I'm sure. But yeah, I guess we might as well not keep Yennefer waiting. I'm still, I don't know how the hell Roach made it here. This is crazy. I don't care what they say about dogs being man's best friend. This right here. This is my new best friend. And he, look at him, he, he got the Griffin's head here and everything. That's insane, oh man. Look at these mountains. Yeah, I love this place already, guys. This place is insane. Seems like there's a lot more forests here, too, instead of just all open fields, which I definitely like a bit more. Oh, we got some natives. Oh, yeah, these guys look badass. Hopefully I can get some armor like that, because that looks pretty cool. Some more armor with fur on it. I really like that. Because right now, I'm sure Geralt's freezing. Look at this. We're in a t-shirt and stuff. That can't be good. Holy crap. This place looks insane. I mean, look at this. You got like a cool little port town down here. And then up top, just a massive castle up in the mountains. We definitely have to go up there and check that out. But yeah, for now, I think... Looks like Yennefer must be down Not that so way. Fast, you know, yeah, we'll get on foot really quick. Check this place out. Oh boy. 
Yeah, this this area is amazing. Oh, we even got a mission already right here. A little side quest. Guess he needs help. Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. All right, maybe I can be of help. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June and the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I shall pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. I mean, he doesn't sound like he's lying, does he? And I'm sure I'll be back at Novigrad sometime soon. You know, maybe just in case. We should try and really see if he's telling the truth. Heard a few too many tales like yours to believe yet another. I'll tell you the truth. I'd probably not believe it either. Alas, I must count on the kindness of others. You know, maybe he wasn't lying. I don't know. Better safe than sorry, though. Oh, whoa. This doesn't look too good. Our time amongst the living is but the wake of an eye. Oh, look at the boat. I guess someone must have died. What's left? What? Need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. 
Yeah, I'm not sure about this whole situation. I think this whole death of a king thing is just really going to make it harder for us to find Siri. Oh, wow, that's a bit weird. You smell wonderful? Yeah, we're definitely not doing that. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. All right, let's see if Yennefer will go with us. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. That's a bit creepy. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? Actually, we did learn a lot, didn't we? But it just... everything kind of led us here. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Any idea why? So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf. Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Damn it, why is it whenever we meet up with one of these girls, they always want us to change clothes. I mean, do we really look that bad? Maybe we just smell bad. She did say we reek of a thousand hunts. Although I think that's kind of cool. Speaking of the wild hunt, we haven't seen them in a long ass time. And the game is named after them, so I'm not sure where the hell they are. Oh, what's going on here? Who are there, Witcher? Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Drowners? I've dealt with them before. You may want to tell me more, though. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. Attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? 
Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Well, lucky for you, I do. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. All right, guys. We've actually got a couple missions already in this place, which is kind of cool, but I think we finally get to head up to that awesome castle. But yeah, before we do end up going out there, I believe we have to check Yennefer's room first for that clothing. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. Yeah, I mean, she's not in here, though, is she? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that the unicorn? Oh my god. Yeah, I'd rather not go into details about that thing. I'm sure we'll learn more about it soon enough. Okay, um, you know what? I'll go with this one, these pants, and then these ugly shoes. So yeah, let's see them. Hopefully they're not too bad. Oh, you know what? This actually looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I mean, it's not too fancy. It kind of actually resembles this land. So maybe... Oh yeah, the shoes. There we go. Maybe this won't be so bad right. after all. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? Wow, this place looks awesome. Look at this. It's like a traditional Viking feast, and then you got the big giant stuffed bear up here. This thing is crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sleep with that thing in my room. But yes, I think... Where do we head up? I guess we'll just we'll pass through here. That's going to be a long walk, though. Freaking journey just to get all the way up there. Oh, man, we have arrived. Let's take a view really quick. Oh, yeah, that is incredible. And just think about it. You can go all the way over there. No loading screens at all. It's crazy how far we've come. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Well, hello there. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met. But you must forgive me. Judy calls. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidates. I'm glad we're here together. As am I. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Well, I dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company. Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Okay, guys, this is a bit weird, but I guess we've moved on to Yennefer already. Seems like just yesterday we were head over heels with Triss. But I guess Geralt is a bit of a player. Oh, look at the cute little doggy. But yeah, oh man, this place looks amazing. It's like a really cool environment. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I would have had to cut her head off if she said she didn't like it. That could have been bad. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krok on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. 
He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. You've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates and learn me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. It's a bit of a nasty scar on her face, but let's see if these are all the Jarl's sons. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. But remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I'd beat him to the top, venture to say that'd be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Well, why not? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, at first, when I accepted this, I thought we'd be on our horse, but I guess not. And you know what? It really sucks that we have to be in these clothes. Especially these shoes. I don't know how the hell we're going to manage to get to the top in these things. It is going to be a bit weird. I do hope we're going the right way, though. I think this might be a shortcut, but you never know. So yeah, not only do we have to beat them up there, but we also have to grab the axe out of the stump. Not sure how tough that's going to be, but hopefully we can manage to get it done before they do. Come on now. And yeah, it seems like last time when we did the horse race, we accidentally cut a corner. Let's hope we didn't do the same thing here. Although so far, I haven't really seen any markers that we had to get through. We should be fine. Yeah, oh gosh. I feel so bad for Geralt right now. He's just in these like small moccasins she's got on in her warrior boots. Oh wow, we're here already. I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. It likely happened to any of us. Enough of the natter and let's drink. Yeah, I remember Geralt did say he wanted to stay sober, so I'll honor that. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. 
Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Alright, sounds intriguing. Guess we'll be on our way. Yeah, look at all these guys. They're, or at least them, they were dressed in armor. Not sure why we couldn't wear ours. Feast the carrot roll, they're legendary. Tell me where you go. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Yeah, maybe they ought to take this outside. Settle this outside. How the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Crack's hospitality with this. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Hey now, you have uh, maybe taken this a bit too far? Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy first. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. 